are you? Yeah, welcome good to see you. Welcome back. It's like round two. Round two. Two years in the making. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while since your last album departure. Uh -huh. Now, your new album, Have It All, coming out in January. Yeah. Uh, your new song, Shake, is on it. Yeah. Gotta tell you, it's a really hot song. I'm feeling it. What can we expect um, from this album that differs from your last album, Departure? I think that Departure was sort of the building, you know, sort of the foundation for what, you know, the rest of my career, and that's sort of the the sound that I wanted to um, that I wanted people to hear and and from the beginning and um, you know departure was the beginning of that with this album you're gonna hear uh, something that's you're gonna hear stuff all over the board I think there's something for everybody on this record a lot of uh, a lot of dance music but also a lot of um, R&B influenced records people I worked with like Sean Garrett again and uh, he knows how to really pull that out of me so um, it's a fun record and you know I think Lyrically, too, I didn't really want to have any sort of limitations. I kind of wanted to just go for it this time around. Right. And um, so I think people are going to be a little shocked and pleasantly surprised. <laughs> any collaborations on there that we could expect? I did one collab with uh, with an artist, and then I did a bunch of collabs, but not necessarily singers. You know, I worked with Tyga. He did um, he did uh, 16 bars on this one record called I Don't Normally Do This, which is... <laughs> it's. Uh, a song about the, you know mocking a girl who claims that she's uh, never been intimate before. Uh -huh. um, it's a fun, <laughs> it's a fun record. Then there's uh, I did this song with Kevin Rudolph. He and I, uh, he, he and I wrote a couple songs together for the album. So there's collabs all over the place. Hopefully, there's gonna be more in the future. But um, yeah, it's uh, it took a year to make this album. I'm happy it's finished. I'm happy nice. it's go time. Nice. Now your website that we could check you out on is is uh, just jessiemack.com. But and you can also hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Jesse McCartney. We were just about to talk about that. I have a ton of Twitter questions okay. for you, so I figured I'm going to make this interview more Twitter based. Twitter based, cool. With a lot of people that want to know some things. Kimberly Ann 08 wants to know if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, disregard nutrition, what would it be? Ray's pizza. Ooh. Is that sure. like from LA? From New York. Ray's, Ray's pizza, come on. Oh, where are they? In the city? Right, yeah, in the city. What do I not know about Ray's it? Original. We're, we're going to have to go and get some pizza then because I need to try this one it's out. I know some good pizza places. I'll take you to mine. You take me to yours. See, in LA, we have like Papa John's and so do Domino's. We. So do we. Yeah, I know, but that's all we have, is oh, what I mean. That's like it. Because this is New York. Yeah. <laughs> now, Miss Carrie Ann wants to know that she heard that you like feet. Is this true? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just you know I uh, I'm I'm a I'm a fan of high heels. Like I I've always been a fan of women's high heels. I think they're <laughs> incredibly sexy. How do you like my shoes? They're really nice. Oh, thank you. I like them a lot. So Jesse Mack, New York, uh -huh. actually wants to know when your fragrance Wanted will be coming out. It's a good question. Um, right now uh, we're looking at next year at some point, maybe in the spring. Um, we're just tying up some loose ends and you know making sure everything looks great and finalizing the artwork and stuff. But what yeah. What does it smell like? Hmm? What does it smell like? You have to wait and see. Does it smell like you? No, it doesn't smell like me. It's a women's <laughs> fragrance. Well, we want to smell like you. I, the ladies <laughs> definitely want to smell like you. All right, XOX Jackie wants to know what your favorite thing is about New York. But I'm going to alter that. What's your favorite thing about Long Island? Favorite thing. You know, I love the people here, I, and and I, I have to say, I think the most you know, the fans that have been there from the beginning, I think they grew up in Long Island. I've grown up with them over the years, and um, I think the original fan base started in Long Island. So that's my favorite part, are the people. And now two more things. One thing, two years ago, we talked about that skydiving date that you've stood me up for in two we years. We still have to go. We have to go. Um, the <laughs> listeners and your fans want to know if we're going to go. Have you been since we talked? I haven't. I'm waiting on you. Yeah. No, I've been so busy. We gotta, we'll gotta. we jump out of a plane one of these days. All right, we're doing that. And last but not least, the ladies want to know how good of a kisser you are. So I figured I would rate your kiss. So um, here's the deal. You need to kiss this right here. <laughs> kiss it. Is it really going to? It'll tell you how to rate I your kiss. I hope I don't get a, sh a crappy score. Rating your kiss. Let's see here. We're going to rate his kiss. No need to play out all your emotion. Sublimity is the key. Do you want to try again? Yeah, you shoved the phone into my mouth. That, <laughs> Here, that you was do hardly... it then. You do uh, it, okay? This is terrible. And don't worry, I alcoholed my phone down, so it's good. It does smell nice. Well, thank you. Is that you? It's me. We're reading the kiss. What? Maybe, Maybe you, you would, would fare better at just blowing, blowing kisses. kisses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love this app. Do they, do they give great scores? Yeah, I guess so. I, you know what it is? I found that app you on Ellen, and I thought about you. I probably should have stuck my you. tongue in there somewhere. <laughs> I, I don't, just don't know where there would have been. <laughs> and on that note, thank you so much, Jesse McCartney, for stopping by. And, thank uh, you. For You're going to need some alcohol to wipe that down. Letting us know how good of a kisser you are. <laughs>